Hi, welcome back to another episode of Five Business Rules. I'm Monica. I'm Nicole. And today we are going to be talking about how to make your newsletter a must read. Um, and one of my favorite newsletters, and uh, which was the inspiration actually for this video, is Goop. It's a beautiful newsletter. It's fun to read. It actually comes out twice a week. I mm -hmm. see it land in my inbox and I am excited to read it. That's our goal, right? That's our goal with our newsletter. Exactly. You don't want to do something just for, you know, just to have a newsletter that nobody's really going to read. It needs to be useful. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's dive in to our tips. So number one, uh, your newsletter has to be short. Um, so, so what I like to do and what Goop does is you just write a couple sentences about, about an article in your newsletter and then you link to that article from your newsletter. So that has two advantages, right? It makes your newsletter really consumable, but also when people are clicking on your links, you can actually see what they're interested in, right? Whereas if you put everything in the newsletter and there's nothing for anybody to react to, you don't know if they're reading or deleting or skipping or what have you. So take advantage of the analytics if you can. Exactly. And one of the things you want to do too is get people on to your website, mm -hmm. right? Once they're on your website, they might explore you know, other you can sell them stuff. You can sell them stuff. <laughs> they may look at other articles. Right. right. So anyway. Okay, so number two, your newsletter has to be fun to read. It just does. It has to be lighthearted. Um, make people laugh. Insert like I insert like a funny image into all of my newsletters. And people have told me they look forward to my <laughs> newsletters because of that. There you go. And so we know we are, we're all trying to crash so many things in the day and we get slammed by email. So you have to make it enjoyable to read so people are actually going to open and, like Monica, look out for these newsletters as they're coming. Exactly. Okay, number three, your newsletter has to be filled with valuable information that your audience can use. So not only is it tied to their interests, but it's really, really focused on them. You're talking to them. You're not just throwing stuff at them to see what sticks. So this comes in with being a professional, being a subject matter expert, right? You're lending your expertise and you're reminding them they want to work with you. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Number four. We've talked about this so much in past videos. <laughs> visuals, the Yay! power of visuals. You need to add beautiful images to your newsletter. Just remember, us humans are visual. We're visual learners. We're attracted to visuals. And visuals in your newsletter break up the text and make it fun to read. It does. And it goes along with kind of establishing your brand, your visual, what you're all about. And it's just no fun to read text, whether it's on your phone, whether it's on a computer, whatever. Visuals can just help you. And it also attracts people to look at a section, right, because of that big mm -hmm. visual. Exactly. Okay. Last but not least, rule number five. Um, your newsletter really has to take into account what people have responded to in past newsletters. Okay, so Nicole alluded to that before. Like, look at look at your look at your metrics after every newsletter goes out. What are people clicking on? What are they reading? That's what you need to be putting into future newsletters. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, with newsletters or really anything online, there's numbers, there's metrics. You can track everything and see what's going on. But if you're not adjusting to that, it's like people are, are giving you feedback and you're just going, okay, and going on with what you want to talk about, right? Or not even realizing they're giving you feedback. Right. Right. <laughs> and so look at your subject, look at your trends, look at how the numbers go up and down and adjust for what's working best. Exactly. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.